Let's take a look at the Met gun that was added in 315. I'm going to rate it on the shape, on the textures, and on animations. Now for this review, I'm going to start with the animations first. Because it's really difficult to get this gun empty in the current gameplay and reload it. So let's... Okay, let's first start with the holding animation. Let's take a look. Okay, let's see. Now the grip is a bit too loose, and the top part of the hand is not pressing against the rear part of the weapon. Okay, let's take a look from the other side. Okay. Let's take a look at the. Um, if you press the B button, the weapon gets uh, aimed at your own body. Now, from here, the animation looks sort of okay. However, if you look at it from an external view, see, there's a lot of a lot of things wrong with it. That's not a natural way to hold it. Let's say you want to hold a device like that to your wrist to inject yourself. You wouldn't extend your elbow like that, lift it up like that, and keep it at the, at the right angle of 90 degrees. That's an unnatural pose for a human to do. You can try it yourself at home. Imagine you would yourself try to scratch yourself on the wrist while looking at your wrist. You would probably casually lift it up and keep the elbow pointed probably 10 degrees away from your body and pointed downwards to the floor. You wouldn't hold it like that because eventually you would get a strain in the deltoid muscles and it's uncomfortable to keep that elbow at 90 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at the reload animation. Let's see. So now let's take a look at the shape of the weapon. Okay, first take a look from here. Now what I really like about this, it has this um, user interface on the weapon directly. You can switch it on like here. To advanced and basic. Oh, I think this server just might have crashed. No, it didn't. Okay, so you can switch it up here. If you aim it yourself, it's even closer. And I really like that you can directly interact with it like it's a monitor. So I really like that technology that you can use the AI that's on an item that you're actually holding yourself. I think that's really good um, gameplay possibilities. About the shape of the weapon, the main thing that I really do not like about it is that it has this gigantic trigger guard area. You can see here that um, Maybe you can look at it in the inventory, it's a bit easier with the mouse pointer. You can see here, that trigger guard is too big, also the weapon is too big itself in terms of the, how long the grip is. It should be about, I would say almost a third shorter than it is right now, and the hand should be pressed up more against it to the top. Because I think the, the reason it's looking like that is probably because, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe they have some SMGs that use an animation similar to that. It's just too large over here. Also, I think the weapon itself is a bit too big. It's not the, the, the length of the barrel, that's okay, and the thickness of the weapon. It's just that that entire lower part is, is too long. You can see how grotesquely large this weapon looks in your hand. Okay, now let's look at the top. Now, one thing I really do like, again, is um, if you press reload, but the weapon is full already. You can see that green goop, and you see that white stick in the center, if the thing is empty, like we saw in the animation. You can see it's, it's the goop is certainly um, somewhat transparent. So I really like the shade on that one, it looks really good. I also think that the weight folds open when you reload it. It's a nice mechanism. 
Let's take a look at the inspect screen. Mm, texture, I'm not sure. Because again, the whole thing is, the whole white area is just one shade on. And it's lacking some polygons over here and that cut out, it, it's just... Yeah, the shader could use some more, give it some, some more clear polish or make it rougher, give it some texture to it, some... And I don't mean texture in the sense of texture as a word, more as how it feels. Let's flip it to the other side. Not liking the metal over here, it's a bit weak. And it's lacking some polygons over here. They should put more polygons in it because it's something right in front of your face. So it should have more detail than other objects in the game. Oh, really liking that goop shader. That looks really good. Yeah, I think it's it's an okay device from the looks of it, but it could use some more polygons. And one more thing I would like to say about the UI: while it looks really nice to have this on a weapon, it looks like it's it's a sticker on the weapon, like it was. It's on the top surface layer of that LCD display. I'm calling it an LCD display, whatever the technology is. What you should do is sync it into the weapon, so it's a few millimeters below the glass, so that thick black area is. Um, it's like a glass protecting it and add some nice shaders. It really looks like it's it's embedded in something. Also, the reflective shader on the glass is a bit lazy. Doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't look right. So I think, um, <clears throat> so let's talk about the score. Okay, first we talk about the animation. I think the reload animation was okay-ish. It's one of the better ones in Star Citizen Hover. It's not as good as the reload animation that you would find in, in Postscriptum, which I think is currently the best game on the market when it comes to detail animations, special reloads. And this ultra stiff um, application animation is also not good. So animation-wise, I'll give it a, I'm torn between five and six. Yeah, I'll give it a five out of 10. Okay, then texture and shape. Texture, as you can see, it, it's just one material slapped over the whole thing, except for the grip area. I think it's... Yeah, it should be better. However, the user interface on the thing looks nice, which also should be better because of it should be more embedded into the glass. However, the, the goop shader is really good. I think it really saves it. So let's give the texture a 6 out of 10. Okay, now the geometry and the shape of the weapon. Huh. I think the top part is good, it's just, it should be shorter at the bottom, and the trigger guard should be, should be a lot smaller than that. What of the shape? Mm, yeah, I'll give it a six out of 10. So the complete rating is a 5.6. So I think that should be all for it. And as always, thanks for watching.